Hey there, everyone, and welcome to this episode on a concept that I call double-ended rolls with hemiola. As my semi-ridiculous title might suggest, there's a lot going on with this particular concept. Today's examples look like this. The extended double-ended roll itself can use various sticking patterns, but the one I'm using here is an in-stroke, down-stroke, top of the stick, up-stroke, and then an in-stroke to finish off the figure, or in, down, top, up, in for short. I go into much more detail on this concept on ContemporaryBaron.com, but this video will give you a bit of an intro anyway. Now the idea with these types of extended double-ended techniques on the Bauron is to use both ends of the stick like you would in a more traditional triplet or double-ended roll, but then to introduce an extra or several extra strokes into the mix to create an embellishment that has five, seven, or even maybe nine notes in it. This enables you to play very, very fast rhythms using a more economical sticking pattern like using a double stroke roll rather than a single stroke roll on the snare drum. A hemiola is defined in this case as a musical example where a syncopated pattern of accents implies a compound time signature over top of a simple or duple figure. If you look at an example one, you'll see that the first measure is a sort of typical rock rhythm, right? All based on dividing the beat into groups of two or four. The second measure of example one is still written in groups of four sixteenth notes but the accents repeat themselves every group of three notes, implying a jig time over top of real time. I've deliberately left any notation for tonal variation off of both of the examples, as the possibilities are really nearly limitless. I'll demonstrate several different options while playing the examples. In example two, we take the skeleton rhythm that appeared in the second measure of example one, and we fill in the extended double-ended five-stroke roll within the same accent pattern. I'll demonstrate both exercises at a slower tempo, and then something approaching a more performance-based kind of tempo. These kind of grooves are not overly applicable in more trad Celtic music, but they're really useful if you're using the Bauron in other more contemporary realms, such as imitating Indian or Middle Eastern rhythms, or even Western electronic dance music. Give these examples a try, and feel free to let me know what you think.